like it. Hi, it's Mitch Thomas with Sound Toys here at AES in New York. Uh, we're taking a look at our Devil Lock plug-in, which got a facelift recently, and uh, we'll also go over Microshift and give a listen to both of them. So Devil Lock is based on the original Shure Level Lock, uh, which was kind of a, a leveling amplifier. Uh, it was uh, it was kind of made famous by Chad Blake, who was actually by here earlier, so that was very exciting. Uh, and using it on drums to m make a huge kind of crushing drum sound. It was a single knob device. We've kind of split it off, as you see. There's more than one. Uh, we separated the compression and the saturation so that you had independent control over those things and added a filter onto it as well and uh, that way you can kind of control the sound a little bit more because it's a very very big sound. I'm going to put it on the drums here and make sure I'm not killing everyone. very heavy distortion uh, and you can also use the mixed uh, control to do parallel processing right from the front panel of the plug-in so you can get mix that crushing sound back in with the original so a lot of our users have said they're using it on vocals now they're using it on pianos or whatever I mean it was kind of a one-trick pony back in the day it was used on drums and uh, very heavily and to a great effect but now it's being used on a lot more uh, a lot more instruments uh, and we're pleased because we, we uh, got to stretch the capabilities of the hardware a little bit past what it was which is what we try to do the other new plug-in that we're looking at now is our new microchip that will be coming out very very soon uh, it is the upgrade from the uh, original little microshift, or it will be. And uh, what that process is, it's it's micro pitch shifting. So pitch shifting, like three degrees up or, or three up and three down, and with a little bit of delay on one channel. So it basically gives this spacious effect uh, by splitting the channels out wide. I don't know if we'll be able to hear it, but we'll try. My flag for a reason now. Raising up his flag for me. Everybody knows. So I don't know if we're hearing it on the stereo effect there, but basically it's it's spreading out one channel to the left, one channel to the right, pitch shifted up a little bit on the right, a little bit down on the left, and a little bit of delay on only one channel. And that was a classic technique that came out of the like the HV thousand. Uh, and the AMS uh, 1580 units uh, that were on a, a lot, a lot of records back in the day. Uh, and since our uh, company founder and owner is one of the guys who created the H3000, uh, we thought this would be a great technique to pass on to people. We would go to studios all around the world and find that the H3000 was sitting there on the micro uh, pitch shift preset for 35 years. It never moved. So it must be a process that everyone really enjoys. And we thought it would be a great plug-in to bring to folks. So uh, that kind of wraps up Microshift and Sound Toys at AES.